Old trailers, a poor sewage system, unreliable electricity. Merahildo Ortiz Pascual was hoping to leave it all behind. The majority of the people have said that they want to leave, just to hear on the news that now the help that was promised is no longer available. A federal judge ordered changes at Duroville Mobile Home Park three years ago, and the county stepped in to help, building low-income housing for farm workers here one mile away. But now funding to finish the project is in limbo. It, it caught us. It caught us off guard. This is the mobile home park where Duralville residents were supposed to move, a far cry from where they currently live, but there's only 42 units here. There's supposed to be 181. We thought we were in the process of having the new homes delivered, which was, which was occurring, and that uh, by, by late summer, we, all the new units would be substantially installed and we'd start moving people out. California dissolved redevelopment agencies where $7 million would have come from to complete this project. I think there's a potential that this gets mothballed and, and, and lost because no one can operate this park in a fiscally prudent way and, and, and not go bankrupt. Riverside County has spent more than $20 million on the project already. This is Duraville. Here we are. And I just want to ask the governor if there's anything he can do for us because he's the only one who has the power. Now county leaders are pleading with the state to free up funds or risk more problems at Duraville while empty homes sit nearby. Jessica Flores, KMIR 6 News.